Hello, 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 queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. And today I'm showing y'all how I created this warm toned glitter smoky eye. And y'all already know I love to jump straight into the video. So without further ado, we're getting started. I'm starting this video by cleaning my client's face. Now that her face is clean, I'm just going to start on her eyebrows and to do so, I'm using my Nika K Brow Pencil and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. First, I'm going to outline the brows and create a shape and then I'm going to fill them in. Now that both of the brows have been shaped up, I'm going to start filling them in. I like to start from the back and just work my way up to the front. And to start filling them in, I'm using the same Nika K brow pencil that I used to outline them. And it was in the shade Dark Brown. And once I've made my way to the front, I'm going to go in with another shade. This one is in the shade Light Brown. And I'm just using it to create little hair-like strokes. Now that both brows have been filled in, I'm taking my Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm going to apply this throughout her eyebrows. It's going to help me lay the hairs down in place. So I like to apply a generous amount and then I just go in with the spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil and I use it to mold the hairs down in place. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going in with these two Nika K concealers and they are in the shades 02 and 07. First, I'm going in with the shade 02 because it's lighter and I'm using it to clean up underneath her arch.
Now to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of my client's eyebrows, I'm just going in with the shade 07. I'm taking whatever excess concealer I have left on my palette and I'm using it as my eyeshadow base. To lighten up her brows and set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Dermablend Translucent Powder. To start this eyeshadow look off, I'm going in with this dark brown and this orange shade. First, I'm taking the dark brown shade and I'm working it in her crease. This shade came from my Jaclyn Times Morphe palette. I'm going to try to include the shade name in the description box down below. But today, we're going to be starting with dark to light. So, this is just my crease shade and the orange shade is going to be my transition shade. So, now I'm applying it on top of that dark brown. I believe this came from my Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just trying to blend the two into each other the best as possible i used to love using this technique when i first started 
started doing makeup and I feel like it still works it's still a good technique and now I'm going back in with that dark brown shade just to make sure that all the edges are nice and blended I feel like this is the perfect technique for beginners and if you want your eyeshadows to look very pigmented then this is also a good technique for that Now I'm going in with whatever excess concealer is left on my brush and I'm just using it to clean up her lids. This isn't really a mandatory step. You do not have to do this at all. It's just something I decided to do for this particular look. And now that that's finished, I'm going in with this kind of peach toned eyeshadow and I'm going to be packing this on her lids. This one came from my Lick and Lash Spice Palette. Since I didn't really show y'all any products in the video, I'm going to try to make sure I I include them all in the description box down below in the order that I use them so I hope that's helpful to y'all and now I'm going in with this yellow shade from my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and I'm just packing this in the inner corner of her eye Now I'm going in with my dark brown liquid liner from Wet n Wild and I'm using this to line the edge of her eyes. I'm going in with some more of that dark brown eyeshadow and I'm using it to blend out the end of her liner. Now I'm going in with my glitter. This one is from Mermaid Scales USA. You can find them on Instagram and it's in the color Lava Bliss. As y'all can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I went in with an adhesive beforehand. I don't like to show y'all my adhesive because it is discontinued, but if you need a glue, you can use the Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue. It works just fine. And now we're moving on to the face. I did go ahead and clean and moisturize her face off camera so now I'm just going in and priming it using my elf matte poreless putty primer Before we move on to foundation, I'm just going to color correct her face using my Nika K concealer in the shade number 10 and I normally like to do it around the mouth and wherever else I see fit. For her foundation, I'm going in with my Fit Me foundation and this is in the shade Warm Coconut.
to highlight my client's face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer in the shade 05. To blend out the concealer, I like to always go in with the same brush that I use to blend out the foundation. And for anybody that's interested in this brush, I ordered it off AliExpress. Just type in foundation brush and you should be able to find it. And I believe it's similar to the Sephora E47 brush. Now I'm just going to go in and contour her nose using my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Katsina. Sorry that my hair is in the way y'all but I told y'all in the last video anytime I contour the nose which is every client that I have I like to be directly in their face just to make sure I'm aligning everything right. You don't want to contour it wrong because then you'll make it look like they have a crooked nose and that's just, you don't want that, okay? That's not what you want. But now I'm going down the center of her nose with some more concealer just to clean it up. And then I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge to blend everything out. Now that I'm finished contouring the nose, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer that I had sitting underneath her eyes. First, I'm gonna use my brush, and then to get close up underneath her eye, I'm just gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder and it's in the shade Banana. To bronze up her face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and it's in the level light to medium. To set the remaining areas of her face, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and it's in the level Dark Deep.
I'm taking some dark brown eyeshadow on a small detail brush and I'm using it to line her whole waterline. Now I'm going in with that orange eyeshadow and I'm just placing it across her lower lash line. Now I'm finished with her under eyes. I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm going to use it to dust away all of the powder. I'm gonna set all of this lusciousness in place using some setting spray and then we're gonna go in with the lashes. I'm taking the highlighter from my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm using it to highlight her face. Moving on to her lips, I'm going in with my Julia's Place Foundation Sticks in the shade Congo and Katsina and I'm using them to outline her lips. Now that her lips have been lined, I'm going in with the Q-tip and I'm using it to blend out the edges of the liner. I'm taking this Mika K lip gloss in the shade Mocha and I'm applying it to the center of her lips using this disposable lip wand. And I'm also going to be going in with the shade Love on Taupe. Once I'm finished blending out her lips, we'll be getting into the grand reveal, so I'm going to let y'all watch. Can you ready to see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks good. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. You're going to have to go somewhere, girl. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving fall. <laughs> it is. It's cute. Huh? Ooh, that made it so long. <laughs> okay, queens, this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think this look came out so beautiful. And if you would like to see more beautiful content, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. A link will be in the description box down below. Bye-bye, queens.